In this video, we're going to set up a web server hosted branding for web and call branding on a Cisco meeting server. This is going to apply globally to all spaces. You can refer to the programming guide with the link below this video. In the customization section, you'll find the branding file samples for the IVR, call branding, and audio prompts, as well as the customization guidelines. You'll also find necessary information about what to name your audio prompt files, as well as the background and invitation template, and the WebRTC logo and background files. Basically, you need to create new audio and image files and give them the same name as the documentation. So now, let's set it up. The first step is to open up a remote desktop connection to the server where the branding files are going to be hosted. In my case, I'm using a Windows server. I'm opening up the IIS server www root folder, and I'm going to create a folder with the name of my choice. Here, I'm just going to call it branding. Within the branding folder, create the call customization, invitation template, and WebRTC client folders. And optionally, the IVR customization folder, if you're going to be setting up branding for the IVR. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be setting up IVR branding. Open the call customization folder. Copy your branding background and audio recording files and put them all into this folder. Now let's go back and open the invitation template file. Make your desired modifications to the template and save it. Then copy this file into the invitation template folder. Finally, let's go into the WebRTC client folder. These are the web branding files. The file names are signinbackground.jpg, signinlogo.png, and signinsettings.json. The signin background must be a JPEG, the signin logo must be a PNG, and we recommend using a transparent logo. In the sign in settings file, you can set up a custom tab label and panel label by editing the text and saving the file. Compress the files into a zip folder and name it webbranding.zip. Then copy this file into the WebRTC client folder. Now we just want to validate that we can pull the invitation template from the web server using HTTP. To do this, we're just going to bring up a web browser and go to http colon slash slash the web server IP slash branding, slash invitation template, slash invitation template dot text. And just to be clear, that path, the branding and invitation template, that can be whatever you want. That's just what I named it and where I put the file. So this should bring up the invitation template. If this doesn't work, you need to either check the URL to make sure you have the correct file path, or you need to check your IAS settings to make sure that the web server is working. Currently, if I make a SIP call to a CMS space, it uses the default branding. Also, if I go to the WebRTC app and copy the invitation template, it's using the default branding as well. So let's configure custom branding via the API. We'll start with web branding. For this, you need a REST API client. In this case, I'm going to use Postman. In CMS 2.9 or later, you can also do this using the built-in API in the web GUI. Do a get to the CMS address to query the web bridge. Then copy the web bridge ID and paste it into the URL. Go to the body tab and make sure we're using x www form url encoded and under key enter resource archive in value we're going to put the url of the webbranding.zip file and change the method from get to put so we're going to modify this web bridge with this resource archive configuration after we send it we should receive a 200 ok which means the modification was successful just to double check we can change the method back to get and click send and you can see here now we have the resource archive URL set. If there's more than one web bridge, you need to repeat the same process for all of the other web bridges that you want to use custom branding with. Now let's configure call branding. To check if there's an existing call branding profile, do a get to call branding profiles. If there is none, or you just want to create a new one, change the method from get to post. In the body tab, put the object resource location under key and then enter the URL of the call customization folder under value. Then enter another object with the name invitation template, and for the value, put the invitation template URL. Then click send. Again, we should get a 200 okay, and we could just double check by changing the method back to get, 
And we can see here, here are the URLs of our call branding files. To complete the setup, copy the call branding profile ID, then do a get onto system profiles. In my case, I don't have a call branding profile set up here under system profiles. The system profile is a global setting that all spaces are going to use by default. So when I change it, this is going to update the branding for all spaces. So I'm going to change my method to put, and then I'm going to use the object call branding profile. And for the value, I'm going to put in the call branding profile ID and then click send. Again, I'm going to get a 200 OK, and I'm going to double check by changing it back to a get. And here I can see now that the system profile is using the call branding profile that I just set up. At this point, the new branding should now be in place. To validate, let's refresh the WebRTC page. It should show the new background. The custom tab description should now be visible as well as the sign-in label. Access the space or sign in with an AD account and then copy the invitation template and paste it into Notepad and you'll see your custom invitation. Let's validate call branding by making a call to a space and it should bring up the custom background and voice recordings. This should apply to all spaces. If you have any issues at this point, the primary things to check would be that the CMS can resolve the branding URLs in DNS and that it has access on TCP port 80, that is HTTP, to those servers. And that's all there is to web server hosted call and web branding. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.